Meet Colonel Gaddafi's newest recruits, a regiment of women who stand between him and Libya's rebels. They are near the front line, but they're not nearly ready to hold back the rebel advance. Doesn't this town have enough men to fight the rebels? They're trained in weapons so they can defend their houses. I mean, that doesn't mean there's not, not enough men. They are among Gaddafi's last loyalists in the mountain range an hour south of Tripoli. Most of the Nafusa mountains has already fallen to the rebels. Gaddafi's officials took us as close as they dared to the front line. It was an organized show of force. But for the last four days, NATO has bombed Gaddafi's mountain positions, shattering his weapons and his power, slowly clearing a path for the rebels to advance. They have little experience, but they have a target the very last town in the mountains that Gaddafi holds, where his loyalists are braced. All the people here are ready. Ready to fight? Yes, to fight if you want to come here. You think there will be a battle here? Yes. Garyan is a market town, a garrison town, and one Gaddafi can't afford to lose. They are shouting their defiance, but the rebels are less than 20 miles from here, and they've set their sights on this area because it controls the road north to Tripoli. Take this, and the rebels can cut off Colonel Gaddafi's supply lines. It's so crucial, the children here appear armed, a Barcelona shirt and an AK-47, a desperate last line of resistance. The old firing up the young to defend a dictator who has ruled for nearly 42 years but whose power is slipping. Bill Neely, ITV News, in the Nafusa Mountains.